Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi. My guest today is Italian Ambassador Claudio Bisognero, who is here to discuss 2013, the Year of Italian Culture. Ambassador, thank you for being here. It's a great pleasure to be here. Well, tell me about this Year of Italian Culture. Is What's the motivation for it? Well, what we want to do, we want to showcase the best Italy has to offer in the area of, of culture. And frankly, it's a great series of events. As a matter of fact, more than 200 events all over the US, 50 American cities, 80 between museums, universities, opera halls. So it's a great event, and I'm looking forward to discussing it more detail. Well, what kind of events are you talking about? But I also noticed when I saw the document you have on it that there's a lot of salute of science and technology as well as yes, culture. Yes, there is, because frankly, the notion of culture that we want to showcase is a very broad one. Obviously, uh, it contains the great Italian heritage of, of culture and art, you know, music and paintings and sculptures and opera, and that's great. It's a great historic heritage. But also, in addition to that, we want to showcase the Italy of today, the Italy of tomorrow. So technology, design, and, and all of that research and, and science. So as you will see, there will be many, many events. Uh, there are many, many events devoted to specifically this area of the innovation and creativity that Italy brings with itself. I mean, it's always appreciated that Italy, with music, with art, with uh, antiquity, uh, with cuisine, is mm -hmm. a special country. But what about the industrial power that Italy is? I mean, that's something in past times, Italian ambassadors I've talked to have been frustrated. They say mm -hmm. they don't realize how important Italy is industrially. I think you are right, and they are right. Uh, as a matter of fact, Italy is part of the G8, so it's part of the main industrial countries of the, of the world. We have a very solid and very technologically uh, state-of-the-art industrial base in our country. Uh, let me give you an example, for instance. We have a very solid uh, trade relationship with the US. We have uh, a growing trade both ways. We happen to have a surplus, which is good, but that's not the point. The point is that, of course, we export Italian food and wine and fashion, but also a great share of those exports are industrial products, industrial machinery aerospace components. Let me give you another example. The Boeing 787, the new aircraft by Boeing, well, nearly 20% of that is manufactured in Italy in, by Alinea in the south of Italy. Then it's shipped all the way to Everett in uh, Washington state, and then they put together. So uh, as you can see, um, the image that through the year of the Italian culture we want to promote also wants to address this particular component. But well, we all know what Americans like in Union culture. So how what is the relationship that you see and how Americans, what are Americans getting out of this? Well, let me events? tell you, the response is incredible. We are really receiving an incredible positive response from the general public. The number of people who attend these exhibitions is spectacular. You will recall we inaugurated here in Washington, D.C., the opening event of the whole year, which was in December at the National Gallery. We brought a Michelangelo statue of all things and <laughs> that event was an immensely popular event with huge crowd attending and the same applied to Los Angeles and Chicago and Boston and Miami and so on and so forth. So the response from the general public has been great but equally important has been the response from the level of the institutions here. President Obama, Vice President Biden have both been very supportive of the year of Italian culture and the same applies to Secretary Clinton then and today Secretary Kerry and so many, other, even governors and, and mayors have been very much supporting. I think at the end of the day, Italy brings with itself a great image of what it represents in terms of culture and, and, and heritage. And this is what we want to, to build upon also for the economic and industrial repercussion and trade repercussion that they can have. So I've just some one final question. So what you, what you see then is your having, the relationship with America has always been good, but does this improve it, or why did you think it was necessary to do this? Well, once again, um, let me tell you, it wasn't done in relationship to a specific date mm -hmm. or a specific objective. I, I think I've described what the general principle of the operation was. Um, 2013, uh, it happens to be the 200th anniversary of uh, Giuseppe Verdi. Uh, it happens to be the 500th anniversary of the publishing of The Prince by Machiavelli, a book which is very popular in this particular city. It happens to be the 700th anniversary of Boccaccio, and I could go on and on. But I guess with Italian art and culture, 
any year would bring about those kind of anniversaries. And as a matter of fact, I remember, I think it was Secretary Clinton who, when asked uh, about 2013, the year of Italian culture in the United States, well, she answered 2013, well, I thought that every year was the year of Italian culture. <laughs> and frankly, I think she has, she has a point. So we are very much committed to this. We are organizing events, as I said, in the area of exhibitions from Michelangelo here to Caravaggio or Giotto in LA. Contemporary artists like De Chirico here at the Philips uh, Collection. Music and opera. Opera, frankly, all over the US. But I was in Chicago last week. Riccardo Muti was conducting the Chicago Symphony Orchestra for a beautiful Verdi uh, concert. We had Maurizio Pollini here at Strathmore a couple of months ago. And then Eduardo De Filippo's plays uh, in, uh, in Chicago. And going back, going back for a moment to the advanced technology, nanotechnology uh, events we have organized. Uh, surgery, surgery done by robots, because Italy is at the forefront of robotics uh, uh, surgery. Space exploration. Uh, a few months ago, we celebrated at the embassy the 50th anniversary of the collaboration between NASA and Italy, because not many people know this. Once again, um, Italy has a very strong space collaboration with the US, more than other European countries, and a huge component of the International Space Station, which is orbiting as we speak, is manufactured by Alinea Spazio in, in northern Italy. Well, when we did that event at the embassy to celebrate the 50th anniversary, I had the beautiful logo oh. of the Year of Italian Culture embroidered on a patch, and I gave it to Major Parmitano, who then was launching to space. Sure. So he's now, as we speak, orbiting on the International Space Station. He will stay there for six months. And on his space suit, he has the, the patch of the logo of the Year of Italian Culture. So as we speak, the logo of 2013, the Year of Italian Culture, is orbiting into space. I think I agree with Secretary Clinton that every year is an Italian year. Thank you so much, Ambassador, for pleasure. being here. I'm Chuck Nconi, and this has been Focus Washington.